Hello parents, welcome to a little web seminar on uh, some of the multiplication we have been uh, doing in our class just so that you can understand how um, <clears throat> we're looking at math problems in class and so that you can have that conversation at home with your students, with your children and uh, so you're not sort of left in the dark, so to speak. Uh, today we're going to be looking at something called partial products which is um, a strategy we're using to uh, to, to, or one of the strategies we use in two-digit by two-digit multiplication. Now, when you and I went to school, we learned to do division um, <clears throat> or multiplication like this. We would take 23 times 42, let's say, and then we would do sort of a, a trick uh, to get the answer. That didn't really explain to us what was really happening in terms of multiplication, in terms of place value. Now, we have a, a better way, or a few strategies, I wouldn't say better, but it, a way in which uh, we can do the multiplication with knowing exactly what's happening, and it teaches us about place value. Uh, I'm going to show you two strategies that are related to partial products. So if we have the, our um, multiplication sentence, which was, I think I did this, 22 times 42. Now we might think, oh, how am I going to do this horizontally? Well. Let's break it up for a second, and let's use geometry to help us. So I'm going to create, uh, there's my uh, 22 down here, and let's say that's 42 here. Okay, so basically I'm creating a rectangle. Now what I want to do is I kind of want to chop it up into numbers or compatible numbers that make sense to me. And uh, so I'm going to go, well, I like 20, I don't like 22. So I'm going to chop off 2 there. And I like 40, I don't like 42. So right here, I know in this square, I have 20 by 40. Okay, because I've chopped up two uh, lengthways and in terms of the height as well. Now, what does that leave me? Well, I know that I have 20 here and only two here. I know that I have 40 here by two. And then in this corner, that leaves me my 2 times 2. Now what I can do is I do all these simple multiplications now because we've learned how to multiply um, multiples of 10 and with strategies uh, for strategies like that and then I would just add those numbers up and I would get my answer. A faster way and using the same idea because now I know exactly what's happening with the multiplication is I can use partial products which I've basically done with my array or my uh, manipulative or my concrete example, which is really important. Now I can take this and go, ah, I'm going to break this up. So I'm going to have 20 plus 2. Well, that's 22, isn't it? And then I'm going to have 40 plus 2. And now I'm going to multiply each number by each number. So I'm going to have a case where I'm going to go 20 times 40. 20 times 40. And then I'm going to have 20 times 2. Then I'm going to have 2 times 40. And then 2 times 2. Just like I did in the array. And that gives me what? Well, there's my two zeros. <clears throat> 2 times 4 is 8. Well, that's an easy way. 120 times 2. What's that? Well, I know that's 40. Keep in mind, I'm keeping my place value for my addition. Here's 80. And then finally 4. And then I add all this up, and I get my answer, okay? And then when we do a lot of problem solving, um, this comes in handy. Also, the concrete example where I'm, I'm uh, drawing out the array, okay? So that just gives us an idea of partial products, too, uh, both in a concrete manner using the array, and then also in a number sentence, uh, an algorithm here, that uh, really explains what's happening in the multiplication, and I think is a little bit better than the way you and I would have uh, learned it. If you have any questions, email me uh, or ask your student. Good luck.